Hey, I'm trying to function with you. you. Me and you look like we could go together. You got some friends for the crew. crew. Party priority, gotta be fucking with niggas who know what to do. do. This Kush I got is hella smelly. Let's go to the telly and see what, what it do. What you doing? And who you think that you playing with? I'm trying to fuck with you. And my niggas want who you can with. You can be yourself with me. I don't mean on that lame shit. You trying to turn up. Well, guess what? We on the same shit. We should throw a party. Yeah, we should throw a party. It's a private party. Yeah, it's a private party. Let's go get it started. Here's my invitation if you want it. It's only us in here. If you got it, you can flown it. Don't be scared, little mama, get it on I gave her a key, cause she with the shit. Drinking a drink while I'm twisting the split. I roll it, I light it, we smoke or we lit. I roll it, I light it, we smoke or we lit. Whenever she take a sip, she lick her lips. We hang in her body, banging like a crib. I'm trying to see just how crazy she can get. I'm trying to see just how crazy what she can get. What the fuck you doing? And who you think that you playing with? I'm trying to fuck with you. And my niggas want who you came with. You can be yourself with me. I don't mean on that lame shit. You trying to turn up. Well, guess what? We on the same shit. We should throw a party. Yeah, we should throw a party. It's a private party. Yeah, it's a private party. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars of Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, Holy Cell TV, that is. Uh, we got that Northwest Media. Talk to him. Yo, yeah, Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Ah! What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we are back up in this thing. Yes, yes, I know I've been gone for a little minute, but you know I always got to come back. I always got to come back. Um, I actually, just to, just to catch up a little bit, I was actually at a fire event. Scott's here, Northwest. Shout out to Rome. Shout out to d -Mon. Shout out to Art. Shout out to Lindsay. Shout out to everybody that made it possible to make it happen, man. Fire battles. We had EK uh, versus MT Money, which was a fire, fire battle. Salem Hush versus Bobby Lee. Hypnosis versus Dot Everything. It was crazy. Crazy. With that being said, um, URL supposed to be actually headed up this way to the Northwest as well. I know y'all here to talk about the known prediction, the known 11 prediction. Yeah, D, get to it. Da, da, da. But hey, hey, um, I just want to talk about this. Uh, I, I, I'm going to talk about the predictions, but this this event that I just was at this past weekend was super duper fire. Super duper fire. But shout out to Scott Chair Northwest. But I was saying URL is supposed to, Born Legacy is supposed to be up here. It's rumors. It's rumors. July. And I guarantee you, if it's in my region, being the media of the Northwest region, I'm definitely going to be there. But anyways, let's get to it. So this upcoming weekend, well, actually later today, because it's, uh, it's, it's super duper late here and I'm doing my little late night run because we up in this thing. Yeah, we definitely up in this thing. But uh, Nome 11 is supposed to be happening a little later. And there's one battle in particular that I would like to talk about. Even though we're gonna go over over them all, of course, uh, but this will be Swamp versus T Top. I was looking forward to this grudge match. I've been waiting for this battle for two years, and it sucks that Swamp got locked up, got his people, came up with the bread, got out of jail for this battle to get the other to get a hope. I don't know, but then it turns out T Top is not prepared and ready. His situations are happening. I hope. I hope. Everything is all good with your T-Top. I know everybody jumps out the window and they're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, T-Top is weak for that. He wasn't prepared. Enough. But if you got some real life situations going on, salute to that brother. Hope I get to see this matchup pretty soon at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, um, we definitely I, I would I would love to do a prediction on that battle, but it's not happening. It's not happening. At least it's not happening today, later today or whatnot. But the other battles will and, uh, you know, time stops for nobody. So the show shall definitely go on. And with that being said, 
their very first battle, uh, Loso versus Jerry West. Now, this battle right here, this battle right here has the potential to be extremely fire. Muy caliente. Was I looking for this battle? No. But shout out to Jerry West, one of New York's own. Shout out to Loso, the preacher of the South. I rock with both of these fellas, and they've been, they, they've been up and coming for the last, I want to say, three, four, three or four years. They've been they, they they've been battling for relevance, uh, uh, for relevance, and they both are uh, both are relevant now in the battle rap world. Uh, Jerry West, last time I seen him, he was in a tournament. He took an L, but he did all right. Loso, um, I remember uh, I, I, his last two battles were actually fire. You feel me? And I think Loso is getting better. And with that being said, I, I, I'm going to go with Loso with this one. Why am I going Loso? I feel like Loso is going to be more direct towards uh, uh, in, with his penmanship towards Jerry West, where Jerry West is nice, but a lot of his bars are handcrafted and they're, they seem kind of random, random to the point where they're not direct. You can cut and paste his rhymes out each round and he could probably use them for other people. Where when Loso writes and he attacks, he attacks directly. You feel me? Directly. And I feel like that's going to be the difference. Now, don't get me wrong. Jerry West could definitely win this battle. Could definitely win this battle. But uh, if I had to pick somebody, I'm going to go Loso 2-1. Jerry West, prove me wrong, sir. Definitely prove me wrong. Next battle up, we have Mike P versus Lou Castro. Wow. Where did this battle come from? Ah, I didn't choose this battle. I wouldn't look for this one. I definitely wouldn't look for this one. But uh, shouts out to Mike P. Shouts out to Luke Castro. Uh, both of these artists, to me, are fire in their own ways. I like Mike P. Mike P. went on, uh, went on a hiatus, then came back in a battle real sick, which was a dope battle. That's the last time I actually seen Mike P. And I think he did his thing. Even though I think real sick got it, Mike P. still did his thing. I like what he, I, I like what he was saying that battle. Period. I like the work that he presented. It was a great, it was a really good comeback. Lou Castro. Lou Castro is nice. Super nice. Um, when it comes to Lou Castro, if I had to pick somebody in this battle, I'm going to go Mike P. Why? Because Mike P, I just feel like I feel like Lou Castro, I seen him last in this uh in the 212 with him and K Sean, and he was fire. He did his part. Kayshawn wasn't carrying them. It was both of them were even in that battle uh, when they battled. And I liked it. I liked I, I like what he brought. And I liked his elevation for the past two years. But Mike P is just something different. Mike P is something different. I feel like he's more tactical. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be difficult for a whip the pot, a whip the pot to beat Mike P's like directness. Similar to what I was saying about Loso, Mike P really gets, he writes to destroy and to get at his opponent just about every battle. And I feel like Mike P is a little bit, uh, he was rubbed the wrong way with the uh, with the responses from the real sick battle from a lot of people saying he lost that battle. And I was one of them. But I think he's here to redeem himself. And I think that Mike P is, he's trying to set, he's trying to set himself up for, set himself up for another run. Like I said, was I looking for this battle? No. Definitely wasn't looking for this battle. It, it seemed like it was just put together, like it's a card filler. But it's one of these card fillers that can definitely um, prove to be um, to have replay value, period. Shouts out to Lou Castro. Shout out to Mike P. Lou Castro, prove me wrong, sir. Prove me wrong. You're another one of those guys that you always have one round where you're super direct and then the last two or two out of the three rounds be random things that are creative, but they don't seem like they're just hitting the opponents like that. But uh, shouts out to you both. I would have, uh, if I had to go somebody, like I said, Mike P, 2-1. I don't see that being a 30, and I've been hearing a lot of people say, yeah, Mike P going 30 him. Nah, Lou Castro could actually win this battle. He definitely got a shot at winning this battle. He ain't he ain't whack. He ain't whack at all. But prove me wrong, Lou Castro. Salute to you. Salute Mike P. Next up, we have JC versus Fonz. This is an interesting battle right here. I know Fonz been wanting to actually battle JC. Fonz is fire. He won his tournament. He had a uh, he had the battle versus uh versus Av and then he had a he had a he had a he had a battle 
Uh, he had the two on two with Av, which was fire, and he had a, a battle in a smaller league where he was where he was talking to his opponent, which was fire too. JC, JC is dope. I seen him versus none none. You feel me? And he was he was on one. He was on one that battle. JC was talking. JC, I, I seen him. Uh, I seen him versus uh, First Lady Flames. Was fire, fire. JC's tough, tough. He's a legend in his own right. If I had to go with somebody in this battle, Fonz is going to be barking on him. JC is going to lyrically come in there ready and prepared. Uh, it's hard to go against JC. And Fonz is my guy. I rock with you too, JC. But Fonz is my guy too. It's hard to go against JC, man. Ah, this is a tough one. I would have to. This is going to be a 2-1 debatable either way. I think this is going to be a preference battle. That's my cop-out. I think it's going to be a preference battle. If I had to pick somebody to go, I think that in this, I don't think it's going to be a big crowd in this smaller room setting. I think JC has what it takes to pull it off. I think he has what it takes to pull it off. What type of JC will we see? Hopefully we've been we've seen this 2021 JC that's actually kind of low key been on fire. Nobody's talking about. Fonz is nice too, but um, I think I think uh, I think JC Penn might be a little bit more denser, and I and I think I, I think I think a lot of people are gonna feel him a little bit more with it being a small room, and uh, we're gonna actually hear what he got to say. But we'll see. I uh, I got JC two one. Fonz, you my guy. You my guy, sir. You didn't been on the platform to prove me wrong. And you know me. I'm neutral. You know I'm going to keep it 100. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I admit. Next up, we have Danny Myers versus Real Sick. <laughs> See, I rock with both of these guys. I rock with both of these guys. They both fire to me. They both got pins that are super out of this world. Danny's been battling a lot this year. He is actually, to me, him and Geechee Gotti are, are, are one and two right now for, for, for Battle Rapper of the Year, to me. You feel me? I can't speak a champion of the year because I got my own award system here at Get Your Bars Up Media. But, uh, yeah, he's in the running for that. We're real sick. Last year was uh, was was Newcomer of the Year, him and Fonz, uh, co, uh, co-newcomers of the year. This is a tough one to me right here. And I know it's, it'd be easy for somebody to say, yeah, uh, 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 Danny Myers is going to smoke real sick, but real sick is he's special, man. And Danny Myers is a legend, but real sick is special, man. He's unorthodox with his punch. He's different. The way he crafts his bars, the way his cadence is, et cetera. He, man, ah, shit, Danny, but Danny been killing Danny's been killing this year. Fuck it, I'm gonna go against the grain. This is gonna be a two-one debatable, but I think this is gonna this this right here is uh this is gonna be a classic. I actually think that this is gonna fuck around and be battle of the night. I think that this is gonna be battle of the night. I'm gonna call that early, and it's a couple other battles that, that that's gonna contend with it. But I think this has the potential to be the battle of the night. I think this is gonna be a classic. Uh, you heard it here first. You definitely heard it here first. I don't know if other people said it because I am late on my predictions. But I'm going to go real sick. 2-1. Danny, ah, I know Danny going to be like, man, that's why I don't fuck with you. Get your bars up. Just be hey, That's why I don't fuck with you. And you know I fuck with you tough, Danny. I think you're one of the greatest to ever do it. But real sick right now is, uh, I think I, I think he's going to bring, I think he's going to bring, Something that you've uh something that you haven't seen in a while, another dense pin just like yours. And he's been actually loading up while you've been rapping, 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 doing a whole bunch of battles. Um, this is that this is gonna be them, this is gonna be that uh that that big heavyweight back and forth. Shouts out to them both. Danny Myers, prove me wrong, sir. Prove me wrong. Next up, we have B dot versus DNA. Now, B dot. I like I like B dot. B dot is dope, and the run that he's uh, that that he's been on for the past year and a half has been incredible. Has been incredible. You feel me? And DNA, I like DNA. 
but I like I, I like the way I, I like the DNA that transferred into Gary and being himself and just rapping and don't have to be about clapping machetes and the gun so big and everything, even though he doesn't even portray himself to be that way, but that's what he raps about. If we get the 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 Gary DNA, I think he got a shot. I think he got a shot. And don't get me wrong, DNA is a legend. He is a legend. Skip what you're talking about. Skip what you're talking about. But if I had to pick somebody to win this battle, I'm going to edge B Dot. I think B Dot's going to take this home. And I say B Dot because I just feel like B Dot, I feel like DNA is rapping to rap because he loves to do it. You feel me? And this is where he built his name up, where I feel like B Dot is really rapping to try to be the best in the world. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he he's definitely close. He's definitely close. Got a, got a few more bodies to get before he gets a load of Lux, though. Uh, but anyways, with that being said, I got it. Um, I'm gonna have it B dot. I'm gonna predict B dot two one over DNA. And if DNA, like I said, if he's not trying to shoot machetes, clap machetes, and he's just actually talking to his soul, being himself, rapping. Uh, it's going to be a different battle. It's going to be a different battle, and DNA might pull it out, but I think he's going to go in there as DNA. Hopefully he doesn't go in there as the champ. I need I, I need, I need, Gary DNA. Gary, rap Gary. Just rap. But, yeah, I got B.21. Next up, we have Av versus Jay the Nightwing. This battle, this battle right here is going to be – this is going to be a fire battle. And you know I'm Northwest, but I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, Jay, it's a possibility that Jay might have problems uh, counteracting Av's punches because Av is back on the rise and he's hungry again. You feel me? COVID knocked him down. 2020 wasn't really a good year for him. 2021, Av is, uh, well, the end of 2020 going into 2021, uh, Av has been dope. He's been extremely dope. Um, but Jay has been on fire too. I've been telling people for a while, Jay is looking like he's a top 10 battle rapper in the world. That's how he's been rapping, especially the battle with Twerk. Oh, oh my God. Talk. Talk. My guy has been doing virtual battles as well, killing on virtual battles. He's been everywhere. He's been sharpening his steel. He's been sharpening his steel, period. So if I had to pick somebody in this battle, I'm going to go Jay the Nightwing 2-1. Av, prove me wrong, because you're going to punch, punch, punch. But Jay is going to punch, punch. Let me talk to your soul. Facts. Facts. Uh, but salute to both of these fellas. This is another one of those battles that could be one of the ones. This could definitely be one of the ones. Period. Period. Talk. I'm going to be hyped when this one pop up. But, yeah, salute to both of these artists. Both of them fire. But, uh, yeah, Av, prove me wrong. I got J21. Next battle, T-Rex, the legend, Mr. Randy versus Easy the Block Captain. Now, Rex, this battle right here, I didn't really see. This is one of them battles where I've known about this battle for the last couple of months. I know when this when they dropped it when they dropped and said oh they're about to battle each other. I know a lot of people were like ah, oh! but they both been promoting this battle way before it happened. I like T Rex. T Rex is a legend to me. I like old T Rex more than this newer last couple of year version T Rex. So I'm gonna go with Easy to Block Captain. I think Easy is going to get Rex up out of here. I think Easy. I think Rex is gonna have a fire first. Then the second, third, if they're not mixtape, they're going to be just freestyles and stuff that he just put together. Where I think that Easy is going to strategically talk to him. One advantage that Rex does have on Easy is being a vet and being arguably a Mount Rushmore candidate. He can look down. He can look down on Easy, but Easy is Easy. He Easy can talk that real talk too. He's good at it. That's a strength. I hope he doesn't try anything new. I hope he sticks to being him. If he sticks to being him, I got easy uh, 2-1. 
possibly 30. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people. You're disrespecting Rex. Why are you disrespecting Rex? Rex just hasn't been that good to me, y'all. He hasn't been that good in a while. And it seems like every time he comes back, it's to get that, it's to get a nice little bag, and then he's out. And he's chilling. He's back on the corners, back home, doing his thing, spending time with his beautiful family, probably. But in the ring, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see hunger in Rex. I haven't seen hunger in Rex in a, in a while. So I'm definitely going to go easy to block captain T-Rex. Prove me wrong, sir. Prove me wrong. If this is a hungry Rex, a Rex who has adjusted to the day, uh, adjusted, adjusted to the time, then we got us a battle. But I, I, I really think that easy is going to get him. I really do. <laughs> Next up, we have the co-main event, Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones. Tay Rock arguably had was uh, was a part of the two of the top battles of last year. You feel me? He he was in uh, him versus uh, himself versus Murder Mook, himself versus uh, Daylight. Two incredible battles, incredible battles. Did he lose both of them? Yes, to me. But I can't take away his URL legend status. Chilla Jones. Been on fire for two years now. The only battle rapper to ever be champion um, at King of the Dot and then come over and be champion uh, at URL. Incredible feat. Nobody has done it, and probably nobody will probably ever do it again, or it's going to be a while before somebody does something like that. Uh, with that being said, Tay Rock, his last few battles, though, I haven't really felt him his last few battles. His last battle specifically, well, I wasn't feeling him versus, I didn't feel him against official. I didn't feel him against a verb either. Like he wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like Tay Rock is going through some transitional phase where he's just rapping to rap. You feel me? He's trying out new things. He's been in the game for so long. With that being said, Chilla is really out here trying to, he's still, it's crazy how how hard he's working because he he was just champion of the year. He's trying to prove that he belongs here still because his people still disrespecting Chilla Jones. Therefore, I think Chilla Jones has something to prove. So if I had to go with somebody, I'm going to go Chilla Jones 2-1. I think Tay Rock can pull out a round. Uh, gun bars is not going to work versus Chilla Jones. His pen is too dense. His counteract is too dense. His freestyle is too crazy. Tay Rock, prove me wrong, sir. You're a legend. You are a legend. But Chilla Jones is on some monster. He's 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 rising to he's rising to God level as we speak. And he has been wanting to battle Tay Rock for three, four years. This is actually one of those ones that like he's looking forward to. Because what Tay Rock is solidified already in URL folklore, he is solidified. He is solidified. I'm not gonna say he's Mount Rushmore for all of battle rap, where for URL, Tay Rock just might be Mount Rushmore candidate for, for, for URL. And Chilla Jones is looking up there, looking like Napoleon, and them trying to take the head off of it, blow it up, like blow, blow him off of that motherfucker. Pause. Period. But you know what I'm talking about. Like actually get a bomb boat. Anyway, bars. But yeah, I got Chilla Jones 2-1. Tay Rock, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Last but not least, we have Geechee Gotti versus Rum Nitty for 100 k Ah, the tournament ends today. It ends today. Rum Nitty, incredible. The best puncher of all time. Back to back to back, his setups. Like people say his punchlines are crazy, which they are, but his setups, he might have one of the best setups of all time, too. Like he the way he sets up to his punch makes his punch even crazier. It's crazy. And sometimes his setups be better than his punches. But hey, that's the punch god though. Shout out to my guy D Fly in the, in the Northwest, because he calls himself the punch god. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yeah, you the punch god of the Northwest, but Rum Nitty is the punch god. Period. In general, I gotta give it to him. He's been doing it for a long time, and he's been putting on. But Gichi Gotti is in his bag. 
Remember earlier I stated that Geechee Gotti and Danny Myers are the two best rappers in the world right now to me. They're the two top rappers right now, battle rappers. From the work, the body of work they've presented from January of 2021 to this point. You feel me? To jet to, to, to June, half a year, a half, like six months, half a year. January to June. These are the two front runners for me for battle rapper of the year at this current moment. And Geechee is just on another level. Like, it's just crazy watching him elevate the way that he has. And it's like he took a book out of chart. He took, he took, he took a page out of Charlie Club's book with the way that he freestyles now. My guy can freestyle whole rounds and they hit. You feel me? And you can tell with multiple battles that he's been taking, right? He has been getting better. Like Geechee, it seems like he's been getting better and better and better this year. I don't know if it's me, but that's what it seems like. And if I had to pick somebody in this battle, West Coast, I see a battle of the West, 100K. I'm going to go Geechee Gotti. I like you, Ron, but a lot of those punches, they're going to have to go against that real talk, and that real talk usually wins the majority of those, uh, the punch versus the real talk. The real talk usually wins. Why? Because it's believable. Super believable. I know Rum is going to get super creative. He's going to have some entendres in there. He's going to have some crazy ass setups, crazy ass punches. He's going to be creative. He just might say a few things that I ain't never heard in my life. That's crazy. But right now I can't go against Gotti. Gotti is on fire. I'm sorry. Gotti right now, like I said, is him and is Danny Myers. And I got him actually slightly above Danny Myers right now. Two best battle rappers in the world at this very moment. To me. To me. And a lot of niggas are going to say West Coast bias. Niggas be like, y'all, they being biased towards the West Coast. Then somebody from the East, somebody from the South, somebody from the Midwest, kill these niggas. Take them out. You can't say nothing. Take these niggas out. Get these niggas the out of here. Word to DNA. Until you do that, the West is going to have all bragging rights. So, all of y'all niggas out there hating, all I got to say is, get your bars up. Facts. But anyways, yeah, I would have to go Geechee Gotti 2-1 over Rum Nitty. I think Rum Nitty is solid for a round. Um, that was my predictions for this Gnome 11 card uh, post face-offs. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this card. It, I think one thing I can say is I think it's too many battles, though. I think that with a, no, a night of main event, six battles should be the max for it. You know, um, we could have did good with five or six battles and that's it. But when you throw in nine battles on here, um, it would have probably I think it would have been 10 if uh, if uh, Swamp and T-Top was battling somewhere around there. Um, I, I think that's a lot. That's a little, that's a bit too much. I don't know if y'all are going to split it up in two days or if y'all are going to run that thing all the way through, but, uh, it takes away from the battles when you have a whole bunch of battles happening in one event. It takes, it takes, it takes away dramatically, dramatically. And like I said, I've been away for a little bit. I still been, uh, like as far as on the national scene of battle rap, cause I've been focusing on my Northwest region and supporting my region. And we're going to get this region up. But uh, looking at this card, like I said, it's it's from Fire Names. It's it's there's multiple battles on here that can be classic, and uh, that could pros and it could possibly be replayable. But it's a lot of battles. It's a lot of battles. We don't need this many battles on the card. We definitely do not. Unless you have a day one and a day two. If you got a day one, day two, let's rock. If it's a full event, one day, it's a lot. That's a lot. But anyways. That is my recap, man. It's super late right now. It's about, it's almost 2 a.m. where I'm at, that Pacific Standard Time. Um, shit, man, I'm feeling good, man. I hope everybody's out there blessed. And like I said, I'm still around here. You know me. I'm still going to create and talk my ish. I'm still going to um, present good media as well as dope content to you whenever I can. And uh, I want to say salute to squad, man. Salute to my squad. You feel me? Snack King Cole. Uh, Yo Yo Escobar, Smoke Kings, um, Harlem Fresh, 
You feel me? Capology facts and Keystone. And then you have the queen, Miss Shanice, which is first lady of the squad. So salute to my squad, man. I know they're not here right now because everybody probably sleep like a motherfucker and I'm pre-recording this anyway. <laughs> probably looks like it's live, but it's pre-recorded. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm going to drop it as a premiere. Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I got to get up out of here. It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not starting to put my page and I've been doing this for a minute, <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me y'all predictions in that comment section. Uh, tell me if I'm bugging about some any one of my predictions or, or, or are they far-fetched, et cetera. You know what? You know me. I love hearing. I, I love I love debate. And I've been doing this shit for so long that shit. I would kill a lot of y'all niggas in this battle rap debate shit. I would. Honestly, I hate to be cocky. I'm not trying to. Why you being cocky? Me? Nah, I'm just flexing. I'm just flexing. Letting a lot of y'all niggas know I does this. But anyways, uh, peace and love to everybody out there. Hopefully everybody's out there safe and shit. I will see you a little later. Well, a lot later on the day um, after I recap the uh, recap the battles. So you know how we do. Anyways, holla. Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old chick. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip. Got my bags packed with some dro lit during COVID. When I wrote this masterpiece, magnum opus. I ain't joking. I hope there's more for me. It costs to live. We can explore for free. Dreams of waking up on a gorgeous beach. Lazy. I never could have. Hey, Appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Sir. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars Up Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, hold this LTV, that is.